Okay, so I've asked this actually really great uh, question. I think I'm a bit, in a bit of sunlight, but never mind. A uh, great question about funerals and the difference between uh, being cremated and, uh, and buried, I think. Yeah, cremated and buried, which are the two usual ways. And Hawkins did talk about it. I found it fascinating in the muscle testing research. And I think in ge I mean, the general rule is, uh, f as a general guideline, uh, it's good to, uh, and I'll, I'll explain why, it's good to, to be buried um, because it often, t on, on average, I mean, this is an average thing for humanity, on average it takes three days um, to uh, adjust to leaving, the, uh, to leaving the body. Three days on average for the average human being. So, you know, there's the body there, it's, it's there, and your spirit's sort of around for three days before it shifts to the next place. And um, I thought, wow, that's great. So, um, I mean, the problem with, if you're, now here's the thing, it depends on your level of consciousness and the shock of leaving the body and not transitioning straight away. Um, and I would say, my view is what he's saying is if you're at a low level of consciousness, uh, if you see the body there and you just sort of see it there and it's dead, I mean, it gives you three days to uh, adjust and then leave gradually and sort of uh, say your goodbyes, if you like, to this realm and all your attachments which hold you on to this realm for wanting to stay or unfinished business. Um, I think that doesn't hold if you're an advanced seeker, you're probably going to, you know, zoom into the light or in a heavenly dimension very, very rapidly. So cremation wouldn't really be a problem. Or if you're an advanced spiritual person, you're probably leaving instantly. Uh, that, that's probably dependent on your level of consciousness, level of attachments that an unresolved stiff, uh, stuff in this world and, uh, and uh, your spiritual involvement. So various factors I would imagine are coming into play. So the general guideline for as an average thing for most humans, I'd say probably, I mean, anyone who's looking at these videos is, you know, an extremely advanced um, uh, spiritual student. So, you know, that you're not the body and the shock of, you know, going out of body and just seeing it lying down, lying everywhere, it's still going to be, you know, you've lost your attachments to this world and you can't really communicate through language, probably, to, the, to anyone who's left. Um, I myself, you know, after my mother left the body, um, you know, I did feel her presence, so I was there. I talked, I talked to her, I'm pretty sure she probably heard me uh, and said I understood what was happening and she could, I just wanted her to be at peace to leave without, you know, worrying or having attachments that would make her, su her suffering and transitioning, even though she wasn't in body uh, as fast as possible. Um, so I think as a general thing, I think if you're in advance having a, a, cre a cremation um, uh, and having to leave uh, 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 and see, you know, ha maybe even having to witness the cremation uh, and your attachment to the physical body. I mean, as of course the miracle says, I'm not a body, I'm free. I mean, it's such a major attack. If you're not spiritually aware and you just see your body laying down there and then being burnt and then having no body and being a kind of a spirit here for a few days, it could be very traumatic. So the adjustment might be better for some people not to be cremated. That's my gist of what I heard. I mean, the muscle testing of three days is a good average rule as general, but I think that doesn't hold for spiritually advanced people. Um, and I'll quickly, um, yeah, so I'm stopping the video there.